Let's take a look at a couple of applications of the Pythagorean theorem. We have a uh, rectangular cookie sheet here that measures 10 inches by 14 inches, and we want to find the length of the diagonal. So this one's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll just take, we'll kind of draw a real quick rectangle here, 10 by 14, so it's a little longer than it is wide. I apologize if my corners don't quite meet. I'm just coming close. Okay, so we have 10 by 14 inches. So the short side will be 10 inches. The long side will be 14 inches. And what we're looking for is the length of the diagonal. So this section across the middle here, like so. So what we have is a right angle triangle. And our short side is 10. Our medium side is 14. Our long side will make C. So we just plug it into the Pythagorean theorem. And we'll get 10 squared plus 14 squared equals C squared. So we have 100 plus, oh geez, 14 squared, huh? 196. So we have 100 plus 196 equals c squared. So 296 equals c squared. And then c squared, c, 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 c will be the square root of 296, which is what, 17 and a little bit, so about 17. So the diagonal of this tray then would be about 17 inches. Okay, we're gonna find the area of the shaded region in the image we see here. Now the shaded region is the difference between the circle and the square. And if we take a look kind of closely here, we can see that actually the diagonal of the square would be the same as the diameter of the circle. So going from here all the way across over to here, the diagonal of this square is the same as the diameter all the way across of the circle. So let's take a look at the square and see if we can calculate that diameter easily enough. Now since it's a square, both sides are going to be the same. So if we were to make either a triangle using this corner up here or its opposite down here, either way, we'll end up with a right angle triangle. So we'll do that and then use 2. 2 is going to be the dimension of either side. It doesn't really matter which side we use. So then we're going to have 2 squared plus 2 squared equals our missing length. Our diagonal here is c squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, so we have 4 plus 4 equals c squared. 8 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides and we'll get the square root of 8 equals c. Square root of 8 simplifies to 2 roots of 2. So the diameter then, the diameter of our circle is 2 roots of 2. That means that the radius, which is half of the diameter, would be just root 2. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we have pi times square root of 2 squared will equal the area. Square root of 2 squared, well those are going to cancel, so we're going to have just 2 pi is equal to the area. 2 pi is about 6.28 equals the area. So the area of the circle, the area of the circle is 6.28. The area of the square is just 2 by 2, so 4 equals the area of the square. So to find the area of the shaded region, we just take the area of the circle and subtract the area of the square. So we get 6.28 minus 4, or 2.28, and that equals just the area of the shaded region, or the difference between the square and the circle.